everyone, Coach Michelle here. So let's talk a little bit more about sugar. I hope you've watched my other videos and read my blogs. Um, but a lot of people, you know, they want to give up sugar, right? But they just, they can't. They have a hard time. After, you know, a few days, you have like withdrawals, you have cravings. It's like all you think about. And then sometimes, kind of like me, because I have been there. Um, I was one of those that seriously could eat a whole three layer cake all by myself in two days. It's a carrot cake too. And I've done it. Or I've gone to the grocery store and I've gotten a big box of, um, it's like four huge apple turnovers. And I scarf them down on the way home from the store, which is 10 minutes away. And then there's other times, you know, it's like I got to have a candy bar. Or I got to have this or I got to have that. And it's all that I can think about. It's like I'm, you know, I got to have it. It's like all consuming to my mind and whatever until I give in and get it. It's kind of like people who are trying to quit smoking and you have, you know, you want a cigarette. That's all you can think about. Or you're trying to give up caffeine or sodas, things like that. It's no different. And the reason why is because it's an addiction. There have been studies that have shown that sugar, now granted, um, you know, the withdrawals are not as bad. The, I guess the um, effects of it are not the same, but it's been proven and been scientifically researched that sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. So, and yes, there is other research, you know, I didn't research everything that, you know, debates that, um, which there always is, no matter what subject there is, there's going to be two sides to it. So best thing is to do your own research and you decide, but you know, if it's not addictive, then why is it so hard to give up? And you know, you, you do, you go through withdrawals, you have those cravings, you have um, all the things that go with an addiction. And, you know, like I said, it was researched. There's lots of articles, you can go Google search it yourself. But, you know, it's eight times more addictive, they say, than cocaine. So that would explain why it's so hard for you to give up sugar. Or even carbs, because like breads and pastas and anything that's a starchy carb um, has sugar in it. You know, like a banana. Um, I'm not saying go give up your bananas and your good carbs, but still, if you do, you know, have them in excess, it still, you know, converts to sugar. Um, so that's just, you know, why. It is so hard to give up sugars, and that's why if you go through, say like, um, a 10 day no sugar group like I've done in the past you completely do without sugar and that's even natural healthy sugars because you're trying to get your body away from it and get out of you know the habit of having it and get through those symptoms but at the same time you're giving your body healthy foods um, because you know you you can't just quit say like your your soda or the candy bars when you're still eating other processed foods because all of that has added sugar everything there's like um 60 percent of everything that's like sold on the shelves at the store has added sugar it's everywhere so that's just a little insight i'm going to post my blog later to give you a little more information on that but you know that's why it may be hard if you've been trying to kick the sugar habit, why it's so hard? Because it is an addiction. So, check you later. Y'all have a great day. Bye.